Hello everybody. So I just got a couple of those micro minim OSDs in and in order to actually use them on my mini quad I'm gonna have to well flash something else on there. I don't know what's on there right now but uh, what I need is um, multi Wii OSD and I really don't know why I did move this thing around that much. Well let me get back there and cut this pretty quick. All right, so in order to actually use this, I need to flash a Scarab OSD on there, or that's what I want to do. And uh, you can download that. I got a link in the description, I think. Um, I'm also going to need um, Arduino, the Arduino software, not an Arduino hard hardware piece, and this uh, FTDI adapter. You can get it from Hobby King or eBay or somewhere. You just have to make sure that you actually have the the female part so you can uh, plug the micro minimal SD in there. And that's what I'm going to do here right now. And um, next thing, I'm going to plug the cable in there and it's going to come to life. All right. There it's blinking. That's awesome. So let's go to um, the Explorer right now on my Windows MacBook. So you see those two folders, the graphic user interface. We don't need right now. We're going to need that later. We're going to have to start with the MWOSD. This is where the Arduino files are in. And you just double click on one of those Arduino files and it will start Arduino as you can see here. In Arduino, we have to make sure that we have the right hardware selected. So we want to select Arduino Pro or Pro Mini and as a processor at Mega 328 and well your USB COM port. And once you've done that, um, you want to check config.h and that's where you want to redefine minimOSD. I don't know if that actually comes like that or if I changed it. I don't know. You have to double check that um, you actually have um, minimum OST uh, in there. And then you click that arrow and now it's going to start compiling and uploading the sketch to your um, minimum OST. Let's take a moment and it's going to say something like, oh, there's not enough uh, space on there or something like that. But it's going to do it anyways if that does not work. The reason might be that the cable's too long. Mine is like, I don't know, three feet or something like that, or two, I guess. Um, if it's too long, then it might not work. You, you could try it again and again, or you just try a different uh, USB cable. So we're gonna um, close that right now. We don't need it anymore. And go to the uh, graphic user interface folder. The um, I'm, I'm gonna have to use uh, Windows 32 here because it's a old MacBook with like an old Windows 7 version on it. But when you double click it and it starts, you're good to go. If it doesn't start, you're going to have to install a very old version of Java. Uh, I think something like 6.8 or something like that. Something very old. So if it works, you can select your COM port and then it's going to connect and well, that's what you see. That's your OSD already. Um, I fly mini quads, so I don't need all that stuff. Uh, you can go through a menu or something, and well, most of that stuff is self-explanatory. Um, at the beginning, many people have issues with the font face. Um, it kind of looks odd to many people, so in order to avoid that situation, we're going to uh, load the default char set again. We just open that. And yes, it did open it, it did load it, and now we have to we're gonna have to upload it. As you can see, this takes a while. It's gonna take a minute or two. I'm not gonna have you watch that. Let's cut it. Perfect. So we're almost done there. Once that is done, we can start changing the settings. Or well you can start changing the settings actually. 
I already have a settings file since, as I said, I fly mini quads. I only need the voltage, the battery voltage. So I can load my file that is not in a data folder. It's, you don't have to watch that. That's right there. Yeah, right. Misha Quad OSD configuration. I can open that, and since I have a couple of quads, I'm just going to use the same configuration over and over again. So that's my battery voltage. I don't need any more than that. But that is what I really need, because I tend to not listen to my, my, my radio and, uh, well, ignore the battery voltage warning. So now I need to write it, and, well, that's done already. So, um, what you make, want to make sure is when you solder the, the wires onto your minimum OSD, you have like in the corner on the right side there, that is your ground. Then the next one is battery one, I think, and the second is battery two. That is the battery uh, pad that you want to use. The battery one is the video voltage. I haven't really figured out what that actually is, but you don't need uh, video voltage. What you want to use is the main voltage, and that is the third from the right. And uh, that is, well, what you're going to have to choose. Also, uh, once you've wired it all up, um, you have to check the voltage. So measure the actual battery voltage and check on the OSD what it says. It's not going to be correct. and you can use, well, come, go back, go back. Uh, what you want to use is that voltage adjust number. It says 200 right now. I've got some OSDs where it's like 86 and another one where it's 185 or something like that. Um, you can adjust that. Um, I think Oscar Lang has um, some kind of formula that you can use to figure out what the number is supposed to be. So that's it, basically. Um, anything else? No, that, that should work. So if this video did help you in any way, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. There might actually be some more interesting videos coming up. Thank you. Bye.